Man, life is so much better since I stopped using VO3 all the time. Mm, do 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 do. Hmm? What's this? What's this? VO3. First frame. Image to video generation. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's right, folks, we're back. In this video, I run VO3 a series of tests to check the limits of its brand spanking new first frame image to video generation capabilities. I'll go over what it did well first and tell you about the variety of ways in which it failed towards the end of the video. But for now, let's just get straight to the clips. So the main question that I wanted to answer in this video is whether VO could generate accurate speech based on images alone. In other words, will VO pick up on context clues and provide different accurate speech for, say, an elderly Korean woman versus a generic looking white dude who is straight up not having a good time? For the first test, I fed VO a collection of high quality images of a wide range of characters, both male and female, young and old, and from a variety of different ethnic and cultural backgrounds. I provided absolutely no description of the characters in the text prompt. I simply told VO to have the character look directly into the camera and speak a single line. So without further ado, I'll let them all play out right here. Joffrey Epstein didn't unalive himself. 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 Wow, quite a lot to unpack there, wouldn't you say? Lots of subtlety and nuance involved in these clips, hmm? <laughs> First off, 100% success rate at differentiating characters based on sex and age. Vio was able to detect and generate accurate speech for a very wide range of different characters. But not only that, we have accurate sound quality and effects based on the environment context. Characters that are inside versus outside sound completely different. We have the crackle of a campfire in one clip, birds chirping in another. You know me, I'm not one to blow smoke up Google's ass, but um... Yeah, I was honestly really impressed by this test. The overall quality here is outstanding. All right, so now we have a decent baseline. I wanted to do a few more tests on some of these characters to see how similar their voices are upon repeated generation. One of my major concerns with using the same character in multiple clips is that if the voice doesn't sound similar enough, it's going to stand out quite a bit when you play the clips back to back. I picked out the three characters that I felt had the most distinct identifiable voices, which just so happened to be these three elderly characters. I ran each of these prompts two more times in exactly the same way. I'll let them all play out, but I'm gonna cut out all of the fluff before and after they speak so you can hear all the dialogue for each one in quick succession. Here is the first character. Joffrey Epstein didn't unalive himself. Joffrey Epstein didn't unalive himself. Joffrey Epstein didn't unalive himself. And here is the second character. Joffrey Epstein didn't unalive himself. Joffrey Epstein didn't unalive himself. Joffrey Epstein didn't unalive himself. And here is the third character. Joffrey Epstein didn't unalive himself. Joffrey Epstein didn't unalive himself. Joffrey Epstein didn't unalive himself. Dang, dude, like there's some weird modulation and distortion in a couple of these, but overall they are very similar to each other. Keep in mind, I didn't run any extra tests. These are the first and only three generations for each character. So even if I were to pick out the worst one from each set and throw it away, that's still a 66% success rate on speech coherence. Once again, I have to tip my hat and admit that I am quite impressed at how far VIA has come in the last few months. 
All right, for the final test, I wanted to see if VO would pick up on emotional cues. Same exact prompt as before, only this time, the character will be a very generic looking Caucasian dude. We'll run one with a neutral expression as a baseline, and then another with an angry character, a sad character, and a happy character. Here we go. Joffrey Epstein didn't unalive himself. Joffrey Epstein didn't unalive himself. <laughs> Joffrey Epstein didn't unalive himself. Joffrey Epstein didn't unalive himself. Oh! I, I swear, dude, I've watched that clip like 15 times at this point, and I still laugh every single time. He's just so freaking pumped. Oh! So, all right, what to say? I knew that VO would improve very rapidly, but I'll admit I am surprised at the progress here. And also, keep in mind, this was VO3 fast. So this isn't even the highest quality that VO is capable of. This is the cheapo bargain bin version of VO with native speech. From what I've seen in other videos though, the main difference between VO3 fast and the regular VO3 is more in terms of image resolution than in the quality of the speech. So I don't really think it would make that much of a difference for what we're doing here. Now, real quick, let's talk about the issues that I ran into. First off, obviously I had to change the name in the spoken line from Jeffrey to Joffrey. I tried running it, twice with the original name, but the censor tripped, which, you know, that makes sense. And speaking of censorship, holy sweet Christ in heaven, VO rejected a lot of my images because it thought they were of, quote, prominent people. About 25 images in total. I'll show them on the screen right here. These are all 100% fake ass people that I made up in mid-journey. And when you consider that I only ended up using about 13 images, that means VO rejected about twice as many as it accepted. Clearly they need to tune the filters on this quite a bit. I guess it makes sense that they would start out with a really strict filter at first to prevent videos of people saying whack stuff like, I don't know, Joffrey Epstein and unaliving themselves and whatnot, you know? <laughs> They also rejected these photos of kids and teenagers, which, you know, fine, that makes sense. But that's a pretty severe limitation. You're not going to be doing any commercials for children's toys or back to school sales or anything like that anytime soon. And it's a shame because I really wanted that little black baby to tell me about Joffrey Epstein not unaliving himself. Finally, I was a little peeved to find out that final frame generation is not yet possible with VO3, only first frame, which unfortunately severely limits the ability to solve problems that we've been testing on this channel. In particular, the ability to transform one thing into another thing or complex camera direction. Hopefully this will get rolled out in the near future, fingers crossed, but still plenty to play around with with first frame generation alone. Oh, and to those of you who will say, Quigley, I thought you weren't going to give Google any more of your money for credits. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the weird thing. I didn't have to. I just switched to my alternate Gmail account and I was able to sign up for a free one month trial. I only got a thousand credits, but that's 50 videos with VO3 Fast. So, you know, why not? Mind you, that alternate account is associated with the same name and phone number, so if you've run out of credits in VO, just try switching to an alternate account. Maybe it'll work. Well, that's about it for this video. I just wanted to do a quickie before the 15th because I'm pretty sure I'll be doing a video on the upcoming changes to YouTube's monetization policy. If you haven't heard, they are updating their repetitious content guidelines to crack down on, quote, mass-produced content. There's been a lot of hubbub about it and speculation as to the implications for AI content, but honestly, details are pretty sparse right now. So I figured I would wait until they actually roll the policy out before I talked about it. So stay tuned for that. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. If you really like the video, please consider becoming a member. For $1, you get early access to my videos as well as all the prompts I use to make my videos including the thumbnails. A big shout out to all the members that have signed up in the last month. I really appreciate all of you. You the real MVPs. As always, thanks very much, and I'll see y'all next time.